Today you're going to have the opportunity to test some of the probability experiments we've discussed in class. To test these out at home, you will need a regular two-sided coin and a regular six-sided die. If you don't have these things, I'll show you how you can kind of get around that by using two different websites that I provided in today's lesson. For your first experiment, you will need to predict the number of times that a coin will have heads facing up if you flip it 20 times. So remember, heads is the side of a coin that has a head on it or a face on it. So if you were to flip a coin once, think first, what is the probability of having heads facing up? We know that we have two options, heads or tails, which means you have a 50% chance, or one out of two, or one half of heads facing up. Also, you will have a 50% chance, or one out of two, or one half of tails facing up. So if we know that it's one out of two, what would that be as a fraction out of 20? The estimated probability is what you predict will happen. So what is the estimated probability of heads facing up is the fraction of probability of having that option. Then you're going to try this experiment. Flip a coin 20 times and record the results of each flip in the space below. If you cannot find a coin at home, I've included a website called justflipacoin.com. It was pretty easy. It's literally just a coin that says tails on one side, heads on the other. In order to use this, go to the website justflipacoin.com and when you click, it flips the coin. So this would count as one flip of heads. Click again, tails. You can keep flipping 20 times and record the number of times that you landed on heads or on tails in your document here. So in your chart, count how many times you landed on heads and count how many times you landed on tails. Question three then asks you to summarize your results. How many times did the coin actually have heads facing up? What was the actual probability of heads facing up? So remember, theoretical or estimated probability is what we predict will happen in a probability scenario. The actual probability will still be a fraction, but this time it's going to be a fraction of the number of times it actually was facing up out of the total number of times you flipped. So for example, you may have predicted one thing, but in your actual probability, your number of times that you flipped heads might be only seven. So if you had probability of heads facing up as seven, we would write that as seven out of 20. It landed on heads seven times, and we flipped the coin 20 times. Then decide how close your estimate was. And answer, why do you think the estimated probability is not always the same as the actual probability? For the second experiment in questions seven through 10, you're going to predict the number of times that you will roll a six using a regular six-sided die if you were to roll the dice 30 times. What is the estimated probability of rolling a six? We know that on a regular six-sided die, each number only appears once. This means that we could estimate that we would roll a six one out of six times. So we do the same thing and compare the fractions. What would one out of six be as a fraction out of 30? Then you'll actually try the experiment, roll a die 30 times, and record the results of each roll in the space below. For this, I've also given you another website called rolladie.net. On here, you can choose the number of dice. So in this case, we're only rolling one, and it's a regular six-sided die. On this website, you can also change the number of times that you wish to roll. If you leave it as one and roll, it will only roll the dice once and tell you the results of that roll. In this experiment, we want to change it to 30 times and click roll. And it will show you the statistics of what was actually rolled. So you can scroll down and see, and here you'll have to count how many times you rolled each number. Those are the two websites that you can use today to help you answer your questions. Then question eight, nine, and 10 ask you about your results of your dice rolling from question seven. Be sure to either use materials from home or use one of the websites so that you can actually try these two experiments today.